Cujo has this fatal thing about him. He's too cute. I mean, look at this. Look at the adorableness. Doesn't it hurt your soul? It does mine. Who's a butter butt? Huh? So Cujo, I just wanted to ask you a few questions. So, are you a good boy? Uh, okay. <clears throat> okay, well, I'm glad that we got all that out of the way, but now I'm really hungry, you know? Doing that intro that took a couple of seconds long was like a couple of years to me, and it just, yeah, I'm just hungry. Um, da -da 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 Piece of steak with no label on it. Yeah, it has no, no label on it, no nothing. It smells like plastic, because it's wrapped in plastic, of course. It's pretty cold, just got out of the freezer, all right? Uh, Captain Obvious over here, am I right? Oh, crap. We don't have a grill, so this is what we're gonna do. Without a grill, we're gonna use a forge, uh, a ladder, and uh, a flamethrower. I, I, you might be a little concerned, but I'm a professional at doing very dumb things, so we should be just fine. I guess it would help a little bit if we uh, took the plastic off. Huh? Done. I don't know if you guys can tell, but that's great A American meat right there. I would really like the record to show that I never thought this was a good idea to begin with. I mean, cooking a piece of steak with a flamethrower? I don't know how much more American I can get. I think this is why most people are vegetarian. Yeah, you know what? I try to do what I what I try to do, you know. Cooking it the old American way. Good old flamethrower, you know. I bet you're the only one that thinks this is a good idea, huh? What you got cooking? Probably ain't much if you're cooking with me. Honestly, I don't even know if this is ready. Like it has spent literally like like maybe two minutes cooking from completely frozen solid frozen to totally cooked. Not sure if that's so healthy. I don't know if that's a good thing. I don't, 
It doesn't look, it looks black. Like it doesn't, it doesn't look cooked, it just looks dead. Well, I mean, obviously, I mean, look at it. Mm -hmm. I'm just joking, I don't even know if this is a cow. It, it wasn't labeled, it wasn't labeled. So, I, could, I don't know, it could be Hannibal Lecter up in here. What can we add though? What can we add to this, this beauty? This beauty that is this mystery? I don't know, maybe some, maybe should we, should we add some mayonnaise? Huh? No, just joking, don't even. I just lost, I just lost all 20 of my subscribers a lot. Hi, uh, I'm Tristan from the YouTube channel The Dude That Does Stuff. Um, it's not a permanent name, but I hope it sticks. I just wanted to cut into this uh, disaster of a video just to uh, just, just tell you if you do cook like I do, if you can call it cooking, and it tastes bad and you just want to hide the taste of uh, complete and utter failure and possible disease or two, uh, this is not a paid advertisement, but Sweet Baby Ray. The only way to make meat taste edible. What do you think, Cooch? Should we check it out? Huh? I don't care, Daddy. We do whatever you want, Daddy. I don't care. We eat that meat. Whatever you want, Daddy. We eat. My name's Cooch. Oh, tamale, oh my gosh, what do we got going on here, guys? What is this? What is this disaster? I think I just burnt my burnt steak. Nope. Still good. <laughs> oh, Christ. Sweet baby race. Are you supposed to add it before or after you cook it? I'm doing it during. Where's the spreader? Where's the spreader? Give me the flamethrower. A spoon will do just fine. Look at that. Something that actually looks good on my channel. I mean, we started off cooking it with the flamethrower, and now we're we're serenading it with my soft voice and spoonful of. Sweet baby rays, hickory and brown sugar, barbecue sauce. Well, I'm just gonna <clears throat> try to pretend that this extremely hot pan isn't burning my hand because you know people don't like to see pain. Yes, they do, and it does hurt. Look at that, the meat falls right off the bone. I don't know if that's an actual good thing. Maybe not. It's literally like peeling off of the bone like pulled pork. This is unsafe. Oh God. All right, please do not try to do this at home. I want to reiterate something. That's the wrong word to use. I never said I was smart, so. This is what I cooked. Uh, it's not discolored in any unusual way. It's not purple or pink. It's oh god. <clears throat> I don't know why it smells like urine. Mystery meat flamethrower edition. All right. <clears throat> That's actually pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. It's good. It, it's so good. Mmm, mmm, so good. Mmm, so good, yummy. Mmm, mmm, so good. So very good. So, so very. Mmm. <coughs> Alright guys, this is the dude that does stuff. Whatever you do, don't do that.
Hey guys, that was it. This was the dude that does stuff. Oh god.